Last show, we introduced you to the Center for Specialized Veterinary Care. This week, you'll meet the center's neurologist, Dr. Richard Andreary, and two of his patients. the circling, the pacing. It was like he never wanted to sit down. Buddy has a lot of energy. So he didn't want to play, he didn't want to run around with Dusty, he didn't want to go for his walks. Things just got real bad, where his both paws would fall under, he was stumbling down the stairs. We knew that even if it was his back, he needed a neurologist. When we built the Center for Specialized Veterinary Care, we knew that we needed to come up with the very best specialists that we could find. And we were very, very fortunate to come up with Dr. Richard Andreary, who's been practicing for a very long time on Long Island, had a wonderful reputation, and we were just really honored that he joined our team. Buddy! Hi, buddy! Buddy is a, a four-year-old Maltese. Oh, I guess about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, the owners called me. Uh, they were distressed. Buddy was in a lot of discomfort. We went ahead and we did the CAT scan on him, and we found that he has a very large calcified disc. So we're going to go in there today, and we're going to, hi, hi, Bud, and we're going to remove the disc. Okay. See you later, Bud. Blaze Fox, who is a dog that was brought to us for extreme dullness, bumping into walls, didn't know his owner. We suspected he, you know, obviously had something in his brain and we uh, uh, recommended MRI of the brain, so we did that. And he wind up having a, a tumor in the base of the brain around the pituitary gland. Horrible. Devastating, yeah. It was horrible. Didn't know what to do, you know. Very upsetting, you know. Seeing the dog every day, wags his tail, barks, you know, it's like, it's the greatest thing. He's such a man's best friend, you know, it's, it's really, it was, it was bad. One thing we can do, uh, even though we can't surgically intervene, we can go ahead and help the animals by providing additional expertise. They said that really the only treatment for the, what he has would be radiation. They told us this isn't a cure, it's just to give him the longest life possible, the best quality of life for the longest possible. And he's not 100% blaze, but he's just about, you know, I couldn't ask for anything, you know. Besides a cure, I couldn't ask for anything more. The challenge here is to get him as straight as possible. One of the things that put us on the map is having all of the very important technology under one roof. And two of the most important things we were able to put in here was the CAT scan and the MRI machine. For me, as a neurologist and a neurosurgeon, uh, allowed me to do things that I would not have been able to do uh, 15 years ago when I didn't have that technology available. And they're extending and prolonging life with an excellent quality of life, sometimes as much as two, three, or four years. Uh, as we get better, as the technology advances, as more people are trained, that we're going to be able to do a lot. I think the overwhelming majority of veterinarians in practice today are using facilities like this and others around the country because they recognize that they, in fact, assist their clients. And when they assist the clients and the patients, the patients live longer and continue to go back to the general practice because we don't see general Sorry, practice here. Okay, so it's a great partnership. team is really important to me and people have always said to me you have a great team here they just just seem to know everything you're going to do and before you do it and that's right they do and I count on them without them it would take me twice the amount of time to get the job done oh it was a little difficult because of the disc had been there a while and was adhered to the floor of the spinal canal, so I had to pick away at it. Hopefully, hopefully we've helped him a little bit. I don't know. We'll have, it'll probably take um, a few days to, to really know. Very professional, very nice. And like they care for your animals. It's not like they're just a dog or a cat. It's like he's a member of the family. And he said, we'll get this little guy back to the way he was. And he did. And now he's running around as if nothing happens. Up and down the stairs, he plays with Dusty. He's just like a puppy.
we could not absolutely could not accomplish anything that we did without a great deal more duress and stress if it weren't for the other teams that support us. Uh, we have the nursing staff, technicians and assistants in the treatment wards that take care of our patients and treat them on a daily basis according to our instructions. We have the intensive care unit staff that take care of all the emergencies that come in. We have a radiology section here that's absolutely the greatest group to work with. They're fun. We go down there and we have a blast whenever we can get in there. They're always willing to help us no matter what we want to do. And uh, it just makes the whole job so much better. It, it just makes it easier and it provides services to dogs and cats to the people that come here that they don't even know occur. And, and it's one of the reasons why I love working here. For more information on the center, you can contact them at 516-420-0000 or visit their website at vetspecialist.com. Be sure to catch our next journal for the third and final chapter in this series on the center. You don't want to miss that one.